What's up? It's PDX Guitar Freak, and in this video I'm going to show you one of the new Charvel DK24 guitars. Uh, this is a new line of guitars for Charvel for 2018. Uh, DK because it shares the Jackson Dinky body, uh, and 24 because it has 24 frets. So it's kind of interesting uh, territory for Charvel. And um, this actually was not in my plans, long-term plans for next guitar. It's actually an early Father's Day gift that, well, I sold one of my guitars to help fund it. <laughs> it was my Ibanez S-Series Indonesian-made guitar. And um, I just wanted to get something newer, step up, and uh, but comparable in terms of specs, you know. Floating trim, two humbuckers, five-way switch, um, you know, 24 frets, etc. And so that's that's what I did. And as soon as I saw these these new Charvels, I was like, oh, that's really cool. A lot of similarities to the Jackson so Solo uh Jackson Pro Soloist around the same price, a lot of same things, uh, including the speed neck and all that. Uh, we're going to get into the specs here in, in just a second. Um, but uh, let's talk about uh, some of the finishes that are available. So I'm going to put them up on the screen right now. So from the left, we have um, what's called, well, first of all, all of these models that I'm showing, these are the Floyd Rose models. The ones with the hardtail I wasn't interested in, so I won't show you those. So from the left, we have uh, what's called root beer. Uh, this has an alder body with a quilted maple top. Um, they call it root beer because of the, the, the colors. And I, I almost went for that one. Um, I, I really I like quilted tops. Um, I, I usually don't I usually don't like brown quilted tops, but that's kind of a brownish red and I thought the name root beer was very fitting. Uh, so I considered that, but I, honestly I prefer uh, quilted tops that um, that cover the entire top, not the kind of blended approach. So I kind of ruled that one out. Plus I wasn't sure how I'd feel about it down the road. Uh, but it's, I still think it looks cool. And then we have the second uh, model with a quilted top, uh, also alder body, um, and that's called Purple uh, Transparent. Um, so those two, the first two I mentioned, the quilted tops, uh, those um, go for about $100 more, in case you're, you're curious. Uh, then we have mine. This is the satin black. Um, I love the color of the white pickups and the gold hardware on top of that black finish. I think that looks really cool. So that was really the one that I just had to get. And then we have what's called Snow White, which uh, that was another one I considered. It just, it, I love that full white look color. Looks like, looks like it belongs on top of a snowy mountain. <laughs> um, and then finally we have the last Floyd model. This is the Okume, and that's a, road, uh, uh, a wood that's similar to uh, mahogany. Um, that one looks pretty cool, but again, I just had to go for this uh, black satin finish. Okay, what else do we have going on here? So um, we have two Seymour Duncan pickups. In the bridge, we have um, the Full Shred, which that's a pickup that I only knew by name. I didn't really hear much about previously. Uh, it was an interesting choice to put on their guitars. I mean, a lot of times they'll put on a JB or something much more um, common. Uh, but I like this pickup. Um, it, it cuts through nicely. And then in the neck, we have uh, the Jazz, ever so popular Jazz pickup. And then for the, the bridge, we've got a Floyd Rose 1000. Those are, those are the made in Korea ones in gold. And then we have the volume and the tone knobs also in gold. And it's a no load tone. And what that means is that when it's at the full 10 position, uh, it, it's bypassed the tonal circuitry. It's not even going through the tone knob. It's just the pure sound. But once you get down to nine, you can feel a little resistance there dropping down there. Then the tone knob comes into effect. Who uses the tone these days anyway? Um, and then we've got the five-way pickup selector position. It's a, it's a, it's a position one is a bridge pickup. Position two is the intercoil of the bridge. Position three is both intercoils. Four, intercoil of the neck, and five, neck. So uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, what else is going on on the body? Um, oh, the jack. You can see the jack. It's actually kind of here on the back, which is interesting. I guess, you know, it's it's there so to keep it more convenient for wrapping in your strap or with wireless. A um, little, 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 uh, little uh, challenging to get used to at first when you're reaching back there to plug it in. Um, what else we got on the front here? Oh, we've got the um, truss, truss rod wheel adjustment right there. Very handy. Uh, the neck is a, is a two-piece maple with um, graphite reinforcement. Uh, this is the speed neck, so you've seen that on Jackson's, with the rolled fingerboard edges. So it's pretty comfortable. Uh, 12 to 16 inch compound raci ra racius, <laughs> radius, uh, jumbo frets, and um, 
what else do you need to know? Oh, at the headstock, so again, we've got some gold hardware, uh, the Charvel logo. What's interesting is on the back, and you, you probably can't, you won't be able to see it, it's uh, on the headstock, it says, this guitar headstock is the registered trademark of Fender Musical Instruments Corporation and is being used with express permission from FMIC. <laughs> it's like Fender owns them, but uh, I, I have no idea why they would want to, to do that other than, or need to do that other than maybe um, in case they sell the brand someday. I don't know. Who knows? All right. Well, that was my video on the new Charvel DK24 line of guitars. I hope you found it uh, informative and useful. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section down below. And until next time, rock on.